Welcome back, awesome Action Toy fans and subscribers. It is Saturday the 20th of April 2024. I'm looking at this Gundam Base Limited Toro 800 Toro Hachi, it looks like, uh, by Bandai Namco. Mo mobile Suit Gundam, is it Unicorn, it says at the top there. Uh, for years 8 and plus, so I should be just about okay with this. I am looking forward to this one. I'm not really... You know, I'm not really a big Gundam buyer, you know, unless it's like a 118 scale toy. But some of the kits I do like, like the 30 minute, 30 minute mission stuff from Bandai, like, and this Gundam kit just really appealed to me. Look at that. That looks so nice. Just wish that was like 118 scale, something like that. That looks just fantastic. Looking forward to this. I don't think I've got anything that's going to work at this scale. Actually, I might have a couple of small bits that can work at this, like the light year stuff from. Um, Mattel, the hyperspeed stuff, but it does look very good. What is Gundam Base? The Gundam Base is a center for gunplay. Plastic models of the Gundam series based on the theme, Let's Build Gunplay. This center offers a variety of information and appalling, appalling, appealing news for gunplay fans of all generations worldwide. And you can sort of scan that QR code there. Nice looking, and just some warning info on the back. All right, I'm going to build this one off camera, I think, because I'm probably going to watch a TV show or two while doing it, and I'll come back probably tomorrow uh, when it's finished and show you guys. I'll be back in the instant, so stay tuned. And here it is. What a fantastic looking mecha, or I want to say exo suit, but it's a mecha. Really, really nice. Very enjoyable build. Took uh, under an hour. I watched two episodes of the Bad Batch, that sort of Star Wars animated cartoon, and they're under half an hour each, and I finished it. So I probably took around about 50 minutes maybe so if you're not watching anything it might take you 45 minutes maybe to build only difficult thing really is putting the wires in and that you know that's not that difficult to do uh very very nice no accessories you do get some spare parts you get this which is an attachment you can fit in so you can put an action base or support stand to pose it doing different things get a focus there and you get two spare of these which you don't actually need in the build very very cool Let's get a close look, but before that, consider joining the Patreon link in the top right of your screen now. You're going to see all the views, reviews, and videos before they publish on YouTube. Exclusive content from time to time also have prize doors, including one happening this month, April 2024. Bring it in. I need to attach one sticker. That's that one on the front there you can see. I'm not really a fan of stickers. The only thing I'll say is I wish the legs were maybe slightly longer, but other than that, I might need a lick of paint on it obviously, but just those basic colours I think looks pretty good already. So articulation and features, so yes you can open the top. Now I'm looking inside that's such an awkward size, as in I've got things that are smaller that will fit. Uh, and the things that are small but bigger but won't fit. I am tempted to take out that seat control panel and just have a bigger space and try something bigger in there because it's quite, you know, it's got a bit of space in there. I'd be tempted to buy another one if they were cheaper, just this little bubble helmet opening because it's fantastic. And then shoulders go all the way around. You have a bicep, sorry, you have a lateral raise. The bicep swivels, but with the wire, you're going to get some resistance. You can open and close again resistance with the wire. And the both fingers are, the finger and the thumbs sort of are articulated too. There's no waist turn. The legs are very funny. You get a forwards, backwards, obviously. You get a tiny movement like that, not really worth m mentioning, but you do get a um, swivel. And the feet have a side to side drill turn. I forgot to mention on the arms, this is an awesome system. Check this out. The shoulders slide around. You can actually get the arms in front, which is really, really fantastic. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. Okay, get an idea of size. Then I'll do a comparison, see if I can fit a figure in the cockpit. Okay, so in terms of height, to the very top of this part here, these are supposed to be lights. They've got these red stickers, but yeah, it wasn't really for me. 
So in CM, we're looking at about just under 10 and in inches, just under four. And then width, I'll go from, let's put the arm down, arm, ooh, arm down to arm down. We're looking at about eight and a half CM maybe. Which I should say in inches, which is around about three and a quarter inches approximately. Now what I was hoping is I was hoping it'd be compatible with light year figures. Now the smaller, I mean the hyperspeed ones, sorry. The smaller ones it will be, but I haven't got any loose ones here. Well, not that I can find them. Maybe I do have there, not sure. But I do have a loose um, Zyklops. He might be a bit too wide for the seat here. But after I've tried him, I will dig out another light year figure and try. And this, he looks like he's scaled very well for this. The figures are a lot smaller than him. So it'll be interesting to see how he works and how they work. But he's too wide to sit in that chair. But let's have a look. Let's open this up. I'm calling it a he. It could be it. It's just a robot. And his legs are going to be too long. Oh, he can't fit. He's too big. All right. Let me just grab one of the other ones. No, I've uh, packed them away somewhere I can't find. Uh, which is a shame, but... I'm pretty sure they will fit. I'm only really worried about the feet and legs. If we have a look inside the cockpit, there is, can you see that? Oh, they're tiny footwell. I reckon you might get some of them in, but they, look, but they haven't got a knee bend, which is a, a pity their legs would be straight, but I reckon they might fit. Pretty damn cool. And what I'm doing now is just a quick comparison with probably the best light year ship, and it's from the Hyperspeed series. And that's the armadillo, armadillo. Not oh no no no! I have got. I just forgot. I have got lighty figures here. I've got them inside the armadillo sitting down. I forgot that. So I've got the armadillo here. So let's first just get these small lighty figures out and see which one's going to be slightly smaller. I think it's going to be a good fit. Let's have a look. So we've got the. Uh, I think it's Darby still on the right, the tiny one. And it's like Buzz on the left. Let's try Buzz first. Arms up, legs up. Watch they put little knee bends in these. <laughs> oh yeah! Come on, get straight, get straight. Ooh! Hey, Buzz can't quite get straight, or can he? He looks like he might. Ooh. Buzz can't can't quite get straight because his feet, but Darby. It's going to do this, and Darby's going to look awesome in this. Oh, yeah. That is fantastic. Going to fall around a bit, but you can see that the feet fit almost perfectly between the two. As Buzz, one foot was a sort of catching on and making go an angle, as Darby can fit straight in there. I am so happy about that. So the scale's not awkward, it's a fantastic scale, look at that. That is brilliant. Okay, so, I'll leave Darby in there for now. So I've got another addition to my uh, hyperspeed line, even though it's not from Buzz, from Lightyear or it's hyperspeed. Let's get a focus there, and let's just compare this to that same armadillo I was talking about, which is absolutely amazing, because all the sound effects as well. So let's zoom out a little bit. Let's put this one here. <laughs> And put this one there. Yeah, they work together well. Very, very nice. I could paint it as a space one, but I think the underwater one's still pretty cool. Maybe I'll make it a space maintenance mech or something. And I've got loads of the hyperspeed stuff. I might pick up a few more bits. And one day I'll have a little hyperspeed world. It's all the screwed. That's where the battery compartment goes. Okay, this is All Smash and Toys. I am signing out saying please like, share, subscribe. Check out the Patreon if you've not done so already. And also, uh, also what? <laughs> and also share this video if you want it as well. I'll see you in another video soon. Stay happy, keep collecting. Bye-bye.